It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer with a little bit of Indian snack food to go with it. Now, this is from Spey Valley Brewery. It's their Sunshine on Keith Session IPA at 3.5% ABV. It looks pretty good. Dark brown bottle, black bottle cap. Keep the light out of the beer completely so there's no light strike if, if you use a kind of green bottle or a clear bottle then the beer is susceptible to light strike i'll talk about that a little bit later in the review but first and foremost oh look at that beer's coming out to say hello let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get now, I've heard of Keith in Scotland. It's one of those kind of picturesque Scottish kind of... When you think of Scotland, a bit like when you think of Wales, you think of hills and mountains and running clear, fresh water. Um, loveliness, you know? Fresh, lovely grass and beaches and... That sort of thing, and and that I've I've only ever kind of tipped into Scotland a little bit. I've only ever been to Edinburgh, if I'm perfectly honest with you, uh, and that's full of granite rock and yeah, amazingness. Edinburgh is an amazing place, but I'd like to one day have a little look at Scotland. Maybe spend a week or two having a look and and maybe visiting places like Keith, they wouldn't be making a beer with sunshine on Keith written on it if it wasn't a beautiful place. Right, so, uh, beer in the glass. We have a slightly hazy, nicely carbonated beer where the head has dissipated quite quickly. There's no sediment in the bottom of the glass. It's not a bottle conditioned beer. It looks okay. It looks okay. Let's get the aroma. Amber. I say amber in colour. Wow. Wow. I really wasn't expecting much for a 3.5% ABV beer. I never do. I never, when a beer kind of falls below 4% ABV, um, I never expect too much. But sticking my nose into this, there's a little bit of sweet malt coming through. And the hops are shining. The hops are really shining out the glass. It's Grapefruit, lemon, orange peel, those sort of hops. Maybe a bit of peach and mango. It smells good. It smells really good. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Yeah, it's not bad. Straight away, it's not bad. I like these. I like these kind of balanced IPAs recently. Last few years, drank a lot of Nipers, drank a lot of New England IPAs, reviewed a lot of New England IPAs on the channel. And they're very much kind of like this centralized flavored beer. So they're not looking to give you a lot of malt flavor. They're not looking to give you a lot of bitterness. So it's all like that kind of central flavor of passion fruit and mango and orange peel and those sort of flavours, but just in the middle. What I'm kind of learning to love again with, with these beers, these kind of slightly kind of older school beers, is the fact that you've got some malt flavour coming through and you've got some bitterness from the hops. And it's, it's much more of a, I would say, much more of an experience to drink a beer like this because you're able to pick up 
a little bit of biscuitiness, a little bit of breadiness from the malt. Some, some grapefruit, some orange peel, a little bit of raisin maybe, peppery, spicy on the back end. So you've got that sweetness from the malt over there. You've got that kind of bitterness from the, the hops over there. And it's a lovely, it's a really nicely balanced beer. It really is. I like that. 3.5% ABV. Now, where I am right now in this moment, um... I went to a party on Saturday night and I've always got lots of different beers in the fridge to drink and I just leant towards like lighter, I took a load of lighter beers up to this party, like lower ABV beers because what I find is I was falling into that trap of taking strong beer, drinking two or three getting very quickly out of kilter with everybody else in the room. Not really realising it, but then you start kind of like... I notice I get a lot louder. I get a lot louder. I get a little bit more boisterous. And the room's not ready for that yet. The, the room's not ready. The, the kind of the party's not ready for that yet. Because... Because everyone's just like, within half an hour, an hour, yeah, the party's ready for it. But, but I'm always the first one out the gate type of thing. I'm always the first one, right, let's drink some strong lager, you know, make a bit of a fool of myself, that sort of thing. So I decided to take lower ABV beers to this party on Saturday night. It was a family party, you know, um, family and a couple of friends. And... I just kept it a little bit more respectable for longer. I was able to keep it respectable for longer and I had a couple of stronger beers towards the end of the night. But what I'm trying to say here is, is this sort of thing's perfect, absolutely perfect. It's flavoursome, it's delicious, it's malty, it's biscuity, it's bready, it's hoppy. It's a really, really good beer. So Let's see what it's like with Gujarati mix from CoFresh. 200 grams of, of snack. I picked this up at the World Food Aisle in Asda. It's a bit of a selection of what looks like, I don't know, maybe it's slightly kind of biscuit stuff, is it? Hmm. It's almost like bread. It's almost like little bits of spicy bread. It's fantastic with beer. It really is fantastic with beer. Mm. It's that kind of slightly flowery, a flowery base, like it. Mm. Actually, kind of like fantastic. I reckon this would be fantastic for breakfast. Mmm. Because this, because it's got a biscuity, bready base to it. Like we normally get by on toast in the morning, and it gets a bit boring toast. And after a while, it's like mm, toast again. I reckon you could like get away with picking up some of this Gujarati mix and. Mm, I would like this for my breakfast.
just to replace the just to replace the kind of like mundaneness of eating toast every morning. This is very similar. I'm pretty sure it's like a, a bready base to it. Yeah. Gram flour, puffed rice, lentils, peanuts, chickpeas. Yeah. Mmm. This is kind of blooming I mean, ideal. What? That's ideal. Breakfast food. Because it's it's nicely seasoned. It's not kind of you know big explosion of chili spice and you know it's not burning my face off. It's just a lovely little kind of mild flavour. A little bit of spices, maybe some ginger, that sort of thing. Paprika, mmm, very nice. Very nice. It's kind of really well with the beer as well, really well with the beer. So, the mix, that Indian mix, I like that enough to give it a 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 for the Indian mix. The beer, sunshine on Keith. That's alright too. That's all right. That's your kind of flavoursome, keep you out of trouble beer. I like that also to give it an 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10 from Milo Craft Beer. I hope you liked the video. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.